What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this video I want to talk about some Sly-related news. And I mean, the short story is that there is none, but this was kind of an interesting story. So yesterday, there was this account that kind of came online called The Tipster, and long story short with him is originally actually a much bigger account, kind of got nuked off the face of the earth or nuked off Twitter, came back, and is heavy into gaming leaks. Now, if it is the exact same person, they kind of know their stuff. They're pretty well dialed in. If it's an imposter, then obviously the credibility of the whole thing goes down. But they were doing a Q&A last night, and they had talked about Silent Hill and Death Stranding and a lot of other things. And they said, hey, we'll answer some questions, you know, anything that you have. So I took a shot, and I said, okay, if this person is really dialed in, I got to know. Because you know me, right? I want there to be Sly Cooper-related things. I still have in my soul maybe like a 1% chance that... Sly will come back, whether it's a remake or whether it's a brand new game. I want it. And more than that, I kind of still hope that it's happening. Again, maybe like a 1% thing. So I said, okay, this person maybe knows what they're talking about. Again, if it is the original, the person named the tipster, then they do know their stuff. So I want to give this a shot. So I asked them, I said, anything on Sly Cooper? And thank God they actually answered my question. However, I will say it's not the answer that I wanted. It actually makes me want this person to not be right right because the answer is not exactly a great one so he says last one for tonight i got that honor sly is stagnant as far as i know which is a shame so at least they're on our side sony are not actively trying to do anything with the ip there was a planned movie which got turned into a tv series at one point and the plan was to revitalize the brand with it but that got canned so obviously that's talking about well what he just said right the movie turned into a show in fact when i talked to kevin miller about this the the rug had been pulled out from under them right they had no idea what was happening and it was kind of canceled last second I think they had like 30 plus episodes of a TV series kind of planned or maybe even some of it recorded and they just canceled the entire thing so that's obviously what this person is talking about what I will say what I'll throw in there is this kind of adds another layer to the special Nick Nick Baker right when he talked about the Sly Cooper thing it adds another layer to that because if you notice this person does mention that part and this person does seem pretty plugged in there was a comment asking if he was even real like if he was actually like a legit insider and he he joked that he was actually Hassan from Abandoned right so the reason I bring that up is I think he's connected I think he knows what other insiders are doing or just kind of like pop culture things in the gaming sphere considering I asked about Sly and considering he does have some knowledge about Sly you think he would have maybe brought that thing up. So it kind of just adds, again, another layer. It depends on how you want to view it, right? Like, the Nick Baker thing was that the Sly game was in development, and whether the leaker or the insider, I guess, to Nick Baker, whether they lied to him or whether Sly got canceled, there's really those two different lines of thought, right? That there was a Sly game that was canceled, or there was never a Sly game in the first place, and he believed it, he pushed it all out to us, and it ended up not being true. I had a feeling, or, you know, when we talked about it back then I think it was that one and I think with this answer again if this person is the actual the tipster and then they do know their stuff this would kind of add more uh, fuel to that right that there was never a Sly Cooper game I was fooled we were all fooled or those that at least believed it at the time and again it's not necessarily new in fact I mean this was obviously the most likely answer to it I was I'll tell you this when I asked this question and I was hoping that he'd be able to answer the question I was crossing my fingers to say okay if this person is in the know Sly Cooper I know that's kind of like a deep dive maybe they don't know anything about Sly but to get an answer and to say hey there's a little something you could say one thing let me throw in one final thing though Remember the Easter egg at the PlayStation Showcase years ago? And that was a big one. And a lot of those other Easter eggs that were in the Showcase, some of them turned out to actually happen or they were hinting at future things. Sly was in that. We all thought that, obviously, maybe a game was in development. Again, that's what kind of kick-started the special Nick stuff. And, again, it's also kind of weird this person doesn't mention that either. So I don't think I'm 50-50. I'm probably like 75-25 on believing the individual. I think the only issues I have with it or the only kind of things that like raise an alarm is the not mentioning the rumor part to it. But you know, Twitter is only so many letters, right? And not being verified. So you can only say so much, but not mentioning that. And then also the Easter egg. So maybe that literally was just an Easter egg just 
to do it. Although it's also maybe important to point out that he does say, as far as I know, which doesn't encompass everything, right? It's as far as they know. Maybe they're not dialed into specifically Sly Cooper. But look, they also talked about stuff with Death Stranding. They talked about stuff with The Last of Us. The reason I picked about Sly is, well, number one, I'm obsessed with Sly. But number two, Sony, they had already answered a couple other Sony-related things. Or actually, he didn't even answer it. He just kind of said it. So maybe he's dialed in more on the Sony side, which would also add more to uh, he is in the know. He does know that Sly Cooper isn't happening. It's still a sad day. Again, it's not necessarily anything new, but I thought it would be a, you know an interesting thing to throw out there. Please, for the love of God, Sony, give us a new Sly game. Although, again, if this guy is dialed in, it still looks like it's not happening, which just makes me very, very sad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.